tonight on, on the, the season, season premiere, premiere of, of Black Girl Stuff. <laughs> Tonight on Black Girl Stuff. She got to tap it like this. Men stay coming for black women's hair, but now the tables have turned. We're going in the comments where women are weighing in on man weaves and lace front beards. Plus, we're calculating if his assets and liabilities are relationship deal breakers. I'm not gonna be sleeping with a woman and she's struggling. Right. I don't want no struggle vagina. Basically, are you too broke to be a boyfriend? Nobody sat us down and showed us how to play with our and we're going inside the bedroom. How many minutes? Four plays should be? <laughs> 18 to 40 minutes is what it takes okay. to be fully aroused. For a special sex ed course in female satisfaction. But that's a booty, OK? But that's a booty. Yeah, this is, this is good, man. Watch this. And from Usher and Luda to a very candid Omarion, I go one-on-one -on -one with music's most intriguing leading men. To set the record straight for people that don't understand what being unbothered is. All of this and more coming up right now on the first edition of Black, Black Girl, Girl Stuff. Stuff. Welcome to the season premiere of Black Girl Stuff. Yeah. Finally, y'all, a series just for us, produced by us, owned by us, and hosted by us. Yeah. <laughs> and in the words of our good sis, Issa Rae, we're over here rooting for everybody black. That includes those with man weaves. Mm -hmm. Ladies, we? it's time <laughs> to kick off the show by going in the comments. And this week, we found a very hairy debate. Men have been coming for black women and our hair for years now, but the tables have turned since IG has exposed man weaves and lace front beards and got the ladies thinking about the hypocrisy. Case in point, NBA All-Star Jimmy Butler's hair transformation. Check it out. But he okay. has hair, y'all. He, he, he has hair. He has hair. He has a good amount of hair for a dude. Okay. Okay, okay. 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 It's unbelievable. <laughs> no, no, okay, so look, another comment says, who says that weaves are only for women? That's kind of like saying that women cannot wear pants. Exactly. I think this is hilarious, though, because men love to ask, is that your real mm -hmm. hair? And now it's like, sir, is that your hair? <laughs> <laughs> okay, like... And they need to know, this is the beginning of the frontier, y'all. I don't mind a little weaving extension, but we're talking lace fronts and lace beards. I mean, that's when you cross the line. And yeah. we are stated recently mm -hmm. in an article two things. One, a lot of these lace front beards can cost anywhere from $275 to $800. $800? And the people are paying I mean, come on, right? our, our wigs are expensive. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So, We've got one of the top <laughs> performing barbers who be, you know, lacing and gluing it down. Wade the barber, he said in three months, he made 130 k That's a lot of <laughs> non homegrown oh It wigs. comes to be a bad right. bitch. I mean, okay. 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 You think okay. they Oh. But how do you even spot one of these mm. weaves? Because looking at Jimmy Butler's extensions, okay, because there's a difference, right? <laughs> but I feel like I would never know that's not his real hair. First of all, mm. I can see that screen door in your beard. <laughs> and if I walk in your bathroom <laughs> and you got the door. yellow spray can of gossip, Ooh, me, no, you no, can't no. pull me. If I'm in your bathroom you and you hang your beard up right beside my wig, <laughs> I'm gonna just... <laughs> I feel like they're not gonna get in the shower with you, they're not dipping no, in the pool no, with you, none, none of that. Of the above, uh -uh. None of the above. You can spot it out every time. And we got the receipts to prove it. Yeah, no, but I don't... I don't, I can't do it, y'all. Like, it's just yeah. annoying. First of all, y'all take our nail polish, y'all took our skinny jeans. I can't even that get part. the shoes. <laughs> <on> the <plate. laughs> that I want in my size, because yeah. the guys are always taking them all, and now y'all taking our hair, too. <laughs> this can't okay. be the same weeds that y'all stay clowning us about. That's the point. And we got receipts mm -hmm. of the clowning, too. Yeah. Let's check it out. Tina has a hair weave, OK? Uh -huh. And when her hair is, she can't scratch it like this. Oh, that ain't my That's idea. gonna mess up her whole hairdo. Instead, she gotta tap it like this. Our women, black women, have always added extensions in the hair. Wigs are the devil. They be sitting up on y'all head. They spend hundreds of dollars a month on hair weaves. Now he pocket watching. Right, right, right. They spend right. more, more money on hair weaves than they do bills. Listen here, Michael Braxton, with this <laughs> turtleneck leather jacket. It's not fair because there's so much uh, I, 
I mean, what women have been through about yes. their hair, especially yes. black women, the denigration of it all. I mean, mm -hmm. I had a coworker one time say that black women wear weave because their hair doesn't grow as fast as white women. What? That's a wow. real statement wow. on TV, on the news, passing around that misinformation. No. And if we just go to white women, I mean, come on. They've they been wearing weave. Extensions galore. Come on. What yeah. are you about? What's the difference? And clearly, we're saying to you all, to your face, we don't like them. And we're right. still yeah. putting on lace beards <laughs> and lace fronts. So clearly, if you can say that and still do it, why can't we? Would you date a man who's wearing a man weave? <laughs> um, a man weave, absolutely. Braid okay. it in, I'll braid it in for you. A lace front, uh -huh. we can't glue. We Hell can't glue. no. We gotta, we can't glue. Hell no. <laughs> do whatever makes you feel good, right. but I can't because if Bree whispered to me in the club and said, hey, your man, lace front is yeah. coming up, and I'm gonna be embarrassed. And Bree is nice, I'm gonna shout that out. I'm not open, you glue it on. Well, for me, I always imagine this scenario, so I'm imagining being on the receiving end of an oral engagement, and maybe I look down and that's again real passionate and stuff, and then oh, what? Yeah. Your beard just falls off. I'm like, bro, what? Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and how can they really clean right. it? Because you can't get it wet. Ooh. Exactly. All right, guys, no, we can I talk can't about this, it. but we gotta switch gears because there's more to get to. We gotta get back into the comments where we found a controversial conversation about men needing to be in a certain salary range before they can date. Listen to one brother's take. If you and I are sleeping together, if I got it, you got it. Yeah. I'm not going to be sleeping with a woman and she's struggling. Right. I don't want no struggle vagina. I, I don't want to be struggling. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Do you feel that a man needs to be financially stable to be in a relationship? Absolutely. Mm. I think that there are different stages of financially stable. So, like, what I accepted in my early 20s, I would not accept yeah. in, in my early 30s, right? right? right. Yeah. When I was younger, I did hold a man down. I paid all the bills mm -hmm. while he yeah. chased his dreams, and he became who he was going to be. And I don't even regret it. Like, even though we're not together, I'm happy about that. In my later, tw in my early 20s, I'm not paying all the bills. My standards are higher, and you gotta actively be chasing your goals before I can support well, you. Well, how much right. does a man have to make to date you? Let's just put it out there. How much does a man have to make it, to date you? It's not a oh. number for me, it's more about assets, okay? To uh -huh. get this asset, you gotta have assets. <laughs> okay. Right? Okay. Cause you can be making 50K a year yeah. and have three multifamily homes. I'm like, you making it. Exactly. You can make 250. Well, Tori, what and, about you and, though? I like, mean, I don't know, but I, I do mean, prefer a man to be financially stable because men are different when they don't have the money that they want or if they feel like they need to provide. Mm -hmm. They can be very insecure, especially, you know, these days we are working women. Yeah. You know, it's, it's more common for the women to be working, so he could get jealous of you. He That's could get upset point. if a, a man of a higher caliber or celebrity oh, trying to holler at you, like, I happen. can't do what yeah. he can do. do for it. me, you gotta be a baller. Shaka <laughs> Paula, <laughs> 20 hey. Only a baller. <laughs> Yes. over here calculating. According to my calculations, you need to make about $360,000. Really? really? Right there. That's basic, yeah. I'm like an apartment. You gotta clear the bills three times. <laughs> that's it. Because that's, I think we, we're basically saying we want a partner because mm -hmm. like you said, back in like, you know, when we were younger, yeah. okay, that's cool, but now we're looking for like somebody that, yeah. yeah, We've got a lot to get to, all right? This next subject here, I mean, whoo, unprotected sex while cheating. Bree, I mean, this let's is a mess. take it from, you right, Demetria, let's take it from pocket protection to panty protection with this one post from Neo's now estranged wife, Crystal, that mm. sent the comments into a frenzy. She wrote, quote, eight years of lies and deception, eight years of unknowingly sharing my life and husband mm. with numerous of women who sell their bodies to him oh, unprotected. It, it, we could even stop full stop right there <laughs> because it, yeah. it's the unprotected sex for me, okay? Yeah. Before I have sex with anyone, you need to show me the receipts. What are the car facts? Let me see that you are clean, have a clean bill of health, but I recognize it's it's, you know, hard to how do. How do you go Let's about that, though, Akila? No, yeah. how do you go about that? Because a lot of young mm -hmm. people struggle well, with that. It's like, you have to ask somebody for their you, STI yes. list. Like, and you I know absolutely what I mean? ask for it, and I just ask. You know, to yeah. be honest, though, what made me empowered to do it more often, I was dating a boxer, and he had to do this, you know, get oh, checked yeah. before every match. So he thought I was happy he was about to fight. I was like, okay, I get to see you. <laughs> what you doing? And doing that enough okay. times made me yeah. really like emboldened to say, mm -hmm. no, this is what I need. Yeah, but let's keep it real. Like a lot of people, men and women, like yeah. unprotected sex. Yeah. Men say, hey, you know, it feel better uh, when I ain't got Especially this if you're in a relationship for so long. Yeah, right? and women, a lot of women complain about condoms not really being pH balance friendly. Yeah. Yeah. So, but people, you know what though? Black women especially need to protect themselves. I mean, according to the National Library of Medicine, heterosexual black women account counted for 61% of new HIV diagnoses among U.S. women. That is huge. Yes. That is we nice. do this show in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. All yeah. right, the HIV rate 
huge here, and so we have to take this seriously. Yeah. So how do we go about protecting ourselves? Well, one of the things you can do is get tested regularly, mm -hmm. but there's really no way because it, it can change in one night. You don't have to be a habitual cheater right. in order to, it takes one time. Also, just having unprotected sex alone can cause your girls to have like yeah. a BV. Yes. And, and you worry about the condoms making you smell bad. Right. Chlamydia smells terrible. Oh, okay. Okay. Empowered, like yes. you said, to speak up in the yes. moment to put the condom mm -hmm. on first. And a lot of black households don't teach our young daughters how to say, that's hey, a good point. Uh, you need but to put a condom and on. And it's not just girls... about the condom, though, because you think in a condom, that's penetrative sex. Right. Let's talk about oral sex. Ooh. Nobody's using a damn. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. And ladies need to just be aware, like, hey, if you have an illicit situation ship and y'all are having yeah. sex unprotected, you gotta assume that he's having sex unprotected with every other girl well, that he's, he's doing for with. you. And a lot yeah. of girls Everybody. don't even right. know they have BV. Yeah. They, they got yeah. all these coochie products. They not even supposed to be used them because Ooh. they're not getting checked. If you mm -hmm. went and got checked, you would know it's bacteria and you need yes. to get it together. And yeah. I hate when the guys <laughs> be like, well, you my girl and you clean, so I'm clean. Oh, that's yeah. that's no, most... you need to go get Listen, tested you know, too. Absolutely to all of this, and to be honest, we could talk about this all day. <laughs>